So we just need to mix it well. So now we're going to test the tattoo. We will do like last time, do the testing. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. Today the video is about can I make non-toxic disinfectant with just salt and vinegar. For sure, we still need water and uh, the machine, but can we just use these two uh, simple ingredients to make it? Why do I want to do that? I actually have a few reasons. The one reason is because if you search about um, hydronox exit making machine, you can actually find a lot of them just using salt. They can already make it. They will provide you with a small spoon and the salt, then you can actually just make it sometime. But the one I get is Force of Nature. They actually come with the capsule actually. And also you can buy the capsule separately also. Today we want to test it like, uh, do we able to make it just salt and vinegar and see is it still effective? Second reason is about the shipping. I stay in Canada and the machine and everything actually came from uh, US. Actually this timing, shipping is sometimes quite painful. <laughs> you just don't know where they're coming. So this is one of the problem also. The other thing is definitely is about the cost. If you can use a simple ingredient like anything you can find a household like salt and vinegar, and just using that can make a disinfectant, definitely making our life better and easier. So let's try this and let's go. There's a few things that we need to be prepared. So the uh, same one as last time is this PPM testing paper, pH paper, small tube that we actually grab in the uh, water later. And this time we actually need to prepare a cup to mix, small spoon. This is optional, but I do think it's very handy. But the other important thing is to get this uh, weighing machine. You can see this is like 0.1G. So I also make this testing uh, paper that which is like the uh, pH paper and the PPM paper beside, side by side. And I originally I was thinking doing the bridge one. I actually forgot I don't have bridge at home anymore. So I have the uh, Tato. Tato which is one of the disinfectant things that you can find in Asia. I don't think it's that common in um, America kind of like place, but in Asia it's like quite common. And then you have, I have vinegar. I have before and the after so that you can see uh, what is the pH and the PPM everything uh, after we done it. So let's go making the disinfectant now. So we're going to measure the salt and vinegar. So first thing is turn on the measuring machine. It's zero zero now. Put down the cup. And the cup is quite heavy, but we can just tear it. And then now it's zero zero. So grab the spoon set. We're going to use the most smaller spoon. Roughly 0.6 gram of salt. So just get the salt and slowly adding it in. Sometimes they will, oops, it's 0 0.6 now. Sometimes the reaction is a bit slow, so we just make sure it's 0 0.6 now. And then for the vinegar, we need a one and a half teaspoon. So we're going to use these two uh, medium ones. Just now we didn't tear it, so it's supposed to go to 6.6, .6, which is the vinegar and the salt. So now we have 6.6 .6, uh, mixtures. We're going to mix it well and then just going to pour it in the machine later. So now we get the mixtures. So we just need to mix it well. Normally I just shake it like this. And then I, uh, I will just add some more water inside so that the salt will be soft better. After pouring the water inside, we're going to, I'm going to just mix it inside the um, machine. Even I can't see any particle inside anymore, but I'm going to mix it a little bit more. Okay, so after we mix well with the water, um, we will do like last time, do the testing. So this is before, this is after. So I'm just going to grab some of the uh, water inside. Okay, we roughly, actually this is too much. We grab slightly lesser and then do the before. Before pH before ppm. You can tell the pH and the ppm does not change a lot. We turn on the machine. Actually, I cut out the bottom part this time. Because last time, when I'm turning on the machine, it just turned my screen become very uh, green after that. So this time I cut out the bottom, but actually it's like, you can tell it's erotonizing the water. So while it's mixing, we're going to do the vinegar test and the tattoo test. I'm going to show you how is the vinegar changing the pH paper and the PPM paper. So this time we're going to test the vinegar to see is the I got to just use a brush um brush stroke so that is it uh, does not mix with the test tube. So 
you can see the pH paper become much more orangey. So now we're going to test the Dettol. For the Dettol, I'm going to use the brush area so that it does not mix with the vinegar just now. So you can tell from the Dettol, it's a much more alkaline kind of stuff. So now we have the uh, Dettol, we have the vinegar, we have the before and we're waiting for the after. We use that all with mixtures, that means they are like bridge. You just pour a little bit and pour water inside to mix it and then you use it like a disinfectant. Normally we use it to wash clothes and everything. So next is the uh, vinegar. So you can tell the vinegar turn much more orangey. Okay, the machine is done. It's become green now. We're going to test it. So same thing. I'll dry the uh, test tube first. After testing it, and then we have the ppm around 200 now. That means just using salt and vinegar, we already can make the disinfectant. I will say it depends on your situation. If you are uh, it's much more easier, it's much more safer to use the capsule, which is fine enough. Hopefully this one will be letting you know that as long as you just have a, a hydronax exit aerotonized machine, that you can actually make the disinfectant at home with just salt and vinegar. It doesn't need to be forced on nature. You can also have other machines that uh, as long as they are actually is an irritant machine. And to have a pH testing paper and a PPM testing paper, and then every time you are uh, making one batch, uh, test it before you use it. So that it's much more safer, I feel. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and then hopefully to see you next time. See soon. We need to do the test like last time so that we are... Uh, that's mine. <laughs> I my mom if my mom here will say, Guys on up, get man. Don't know how to hold this thing.